Hi, Candace here, and today I am sharing with you how I put together this layout using the Summit Documenter Kit this month. So I started out showing you how on the card there, it shows you the color theory pairings for this month. And I love how every month you get that. So it makes choosing your inks that will match your spread super easy. So I just went ahead and went through my inks and I grabbed out the matching inks and I started with that Orange County ink and I stamped the stamp that came in the kit on some white cardstock and I'm going to punch that out and use that on my spread. Now one of the easiest ways that you can bring balance to your spread is to have a card or a photo in your spread that contains all the colors that you may want to use in your spread. So as you can see on that center row there, I have that three by four card that has those cute little circles on it and it has lots of colors on it. And so this makes it really easy to be able to take any of those colors that are on that card and I can stamp or I can use other cards along that center line of my spread and everything will match because I already have all those colors already in the spread. So that's definitely an easy way to bring balance to your spread. So right there what I went ahead and did is I used a hole punch and I punched out that today stamp and I'm going to go ahead and place that right on that circle card and I'm just going to kind of mimic and continue that theme of circles on that card. Now for my journaling, I'm going to place it on that card with the light gray dots. And what I went ahead and did is I had stamped the other stamp that came in the kit that says more of this on the white card stock. And I wasn't sure which color that I wanted to use. So I stamped it in a few different colors. And you'll see in a minute that I'm going to end up changing that. So I also grabbed the puffy stickers that came in the kit and I'm just going to add one to the top of that card and I went ahead and added green to make sure I was using a different color but yet still a color that was contained in those in the circle card so still finding balance in my spread. So here you can see I didn't like the way that that um, the mint color looked so I'm going ahead and I'm going to try the lemon zest and then I still don't like that so I'm going to end up going with a blue ink on that card. So another way to that I like to bring my spreads together is try something different every week. So some weeks I'll add embellishments all over my spread and then some weeks I like to keep it simple. So for this week I really wanted a lot of emphasis to be on these photos of my little guys. So I'm going to keep all of my embellishing to the center cards in my spread. And that's really going to make sure that it keeps the focus on the photos and on the story and keeps those photos completely clean and that way people can look at the photos and see their cute little faces and then look at the journaling and embellishments through the center of the spread. So my last tip for this week would be to mix fonts. So I think by mixing fonts you really add a element of interest and fun to your spreads. So as you look across my spread I have that loving card that is in cursive and then I have the more of this which is a different font and then the happy which is a different font. Um, so it makes it really fun as you're looking across the spread. It's more interesting. There's different things to look at and it really gives the reader or the person looking at your album more to look at and an interesting thing to um, consider as they're looking across the spread. So here I'm just showing you what I chose to do is add some dimension to that card to make sure that it pops up off the card. So sometimes what happens if you just place the die cut, the punch card that I had made straight against the card, sometimes it can get lost, especially because when I stamped it, it had the outline, but then when I punched it out, I lost the outline. So if I had just put it against the card, 
there wouldn't have been a lot of definition. So by adding the pop dot behind it, it lifts it up off the card and gives it a little definition and separation between the card and the embellishment. So now I'm just looking over my spread and seeing if there's anything else that I wanted to add and I found this little black star from the sticker sheet and I'm going to go ahead and use my tiny attacher and attach that to my more of this which I also popped up for a little dimension and then that will complete my spread. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Have a great day and we'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.